Like so many of us today, I was dismayed at the current state of the world. The overriding power of money, the lack of basic human connection in the Western world, and the loss of foresight by our leaders had me searching for an escape. That escape found me many years before I knew I'd found it. Around 2008, I watched a short clip on how to build a home out of earth using sandbags in the shape of a dome. Although immediately intrigued, I had no possible idea how much this video was going to change the course of my life. Ten years out of high school, without much to show for it, I ignorantly prepared for yet another wandering year, unsure of how to aid this almost unbearable dis-ease growing inside me. Then, one day, it all changed. My mum gifted me the opportunity to head to the very institute which that short clip I had watched came from all those years before. It was from a small not-for-profit organisation called CalEarth, the Californian Institute of Earth Art and Architecture. It was founded by a similarly disillusioned architect named Nada Khalili, who had set out in the early 90s to discover a way to more simply, safely, cheaply and strongly build shelters for any person in the world who needs one. But what he came up with was Super Adobe, an advanced earth bag building technique used to construct homes and spaces of many shapes and sizes. I headed there in early 2014. The three months spent learning, building, loving and growing have led me here. I now run workshops teaching this wonderful technology in Australia. This is an unbelievably rewarding movement which grows individuals and communities on a deep spiritual level as well, you know, to assist everyone in reconnecting with themselves and nature and the greater consciousness of which we're all a part. This is great for our little corner of the world, but unfortunately many areas of the world aren't as privileged as we are and often adequate shelter is incredibly hard to attain. While studying at Cal Earth, I was asked to reply to an email from a woman by the name of Rose, who lived and worked in the Philippines as a high school teacher. She had been taking her time off over the last few years to assist a local, unfortunately largely forgotten tribe of indigenous people called the Dumagat tribe. These people are forgotten about by the larger community, with no assistance from the government or local bodies at all. The majority of their income is made by illegally burning forests to create charcoal to sell at a tiny price. They are uneducated and unassisted. Their housing is incredibly simple and often incredibly inadequate for the weather patterns in such an area of the world. Rose has been teaching as many of them as possible basic literacy and numeracy skills and how to plant beneficial vegetation for their surrounding areas. She hopes to one day build an eco-resort for travellers to bring in much needed economic stability for their tribe and also build new homes for each of the families within it, bringing security and pride back to the Dumagat people. Okay, this is the task that we've been set. We hope to head over to the Philippines in May 2015 to teach the tribe and the local community how to build with Super Adobe. We hope to construct a four metre dome as an example, which can be used freely within the community and the workshop attendees will also be invited from the greater Filipino community that are wishing to learn also. The aim is to empower the people to build more domes when we leave and to teach each other this great technology. Okay, so we're aiming to raise $2,500 to help pay for materials to build the dome. This will cover the earth bag material, the barbed wire which holds it all together, and the plasters and paints to finish it all off. After just completing a great workshop in Mount Evelyn during January, which was based off a one month timeline, we strongly believe that we'll be able to complete the dome in six weeks and leave a wonderful building behind and a wealth of knowledge. I'm very luckily joined by the wonderful Adam Hickman on this journey. I worked for a Gari permaculture farm as a workshop facilitator. Uh, I was a conventional builder for like five, five and a half years in England, working on um, renovations and extensions of old traditional buildings and I got involved with natural building like two years ago or so uh, studying and attending various workshops in Australia and now have experience in earthship technology, cob building, mud brick, super adobe and permaculture um, but I'm extremely excited about being involved with this project as myself and family have um, done a lot of grassroots charity like fundraising work over the years in various Asian countries we've been traveling through. And this project, you know, it's just that, you know, it's real. There's no middleman, no admin cost, direct action, direct to the people. And we need your help. Uh, this is an incredible opportunity to make a real world difference to a struggling community. You know. and there's a couple rewards for donating to the campaign. The first one starts off at $10, where you'll have your name, 
painted on the inside of the dome so that everybody can see who helped put towards this project. The second one is $25, which is a recycled screen, hand screen printed t-shirt with one of my fabulous natural building puns, uh, yeah. which will be released at a later date. Same sweet Dame. Or it's awesome. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Uh, the next one is $50, which is, you'll receive a handmade piece of jewellery from the Dumagat tribes people. Uh, and then the last one is $150, which is a mosaic tile, which uh, you can either build with us or you can instruct us on what you'd like on it and we'll build it for you and that'll be placed inside the dome itself. This is a completely not-for-profit endeavour. Neither Adam or I are receiving any payment for the journey or our work. All money raised will go towards building materials for the dome. So if you have any money to spare whatsoever, Adam and I and everybody else involved with this project will be so thankful. And this is an opportunity to make a real difference to real people. Thanks guys. Mwah. <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs>